Hey guys, and welcome to another episode of FTB University, where today we're automating some IC2 and upgrading our bee setup. Well, we didn't do all this work with these bees uh, to not use IC2. Change my mind again. Um, we're going to try and upgrade the speed of these guys. Um, this chest is cleared out, but that is only because I have just been piping actually just over here uh, piping the stuff that would go into IC2's ore processing just into the Ender IO stuff because yeah we're just getting a massive backlog of things and I'm not sure why Osmium isn't going anywhere must not be on a filter so that's Ender IO's processing you go there and these are supposed to Appetite, I don't even think I was processing. Uh, I mean, we could. We could. Cinnabar was just going to be going straight. Oh, this is... No, this is just straight into... Straight into the system. Don't uh, process it at all. This stuff probably wants to get processed in Ender I.O. There we go. Nice clean. Nice clean outputs. Okay, so. We're going to need to make coolant. Now, I want to try and automate it. Um, I set up the auto crafting just to make one of these. So, we should have a fluid slash solid canning machine. And this was a quest, right? But we didn't get it. Like a solid canning machine. Well, I guess we wanted to make one of these first. All right. Um, unfortunately, I don't think I've got. Oh, I'll just get some tin item casings. Actually, no, we can set up the auto crafting for this. Till then. Yep, things are happening over there. Yeah, so the plan is to get this fluid solid canning machine um, because to make coolant. Let's just lap with some water. Uh, so we can pretty easily set up just a water pump. Uh, lapis lazuli dust. We can probably automate that pretty easy. And yeah, just uh, have some IC2 coolant stuff happening. Solid canning machine. And it completes these quests. Now, I don't even know what this is used for. Make fuel rods. Okay, that's handy. We're going to be making them, I think. Nice. Uh, potato to make. Fill uh, yeah, I think you can put anything in tinned cans. And then you can use this in some IC2 armor to feed you automatically. But, uh, yep. For, for now, you just go away. So we're going to have this guy. Um, so for now, you live there. Actually, here's my wrench. I know for... A pump to work, you need a 5x5 five five area, right? I think that's what it says in the... Oh, we get rewards. Fill tin cans. Nice. Uh, for the... For the pump. Pump. Must be a 5x5 five five pull for it to be infinite. And yeah, we'll just have this like half hidden underground because we don't, we don't want to look at this. Um, which does mean the cables can't be there, but that's okay. Now, I think I have the auto crafting set up for pumps. I do. Make me one of them. Uh, one thing I've discovered is the Apriest up Apriest's upgrades for Ender.io stuff it doesn't work. It just doesn't work at all. Like, I take full full damage from bees so that's that's cool I'm not sure if that's a bug or if that's intended but uh, yeah so working on getting some more of just plain apris armor just for working on the bees and we probably want to make him face downwards cool And we could even, if I'm being lazy, 
check him. Top of the pump. And he should be. Yeah, the tank is filling up. Nice. Okay, so then we're going to want the fluid solid canning machine. Now I'm picking, this ain't gonna be enough power for him. So what we might want to do, we're gonna have to run power cables anyway. We're definitely gonna have to run power cables anyway. All right. So if we get some, let's give a tin cables. Loss is 0.2 EU a block. Yeah, that's a problem. What were the copper ones? 0.2 as well. Uh, right, we got plenty of copper. I think the copper wires actually can be used for higher voltages. Pretty sure that's how that works. And yeah, we got we got plenty of rubber. Yeah, this guy's just so slow. That's right, we're gonna fix it. He's gonna be better. So we still need to access this guy. Cam through there, so that's cool. Yeah, fluid ejector upgrade. So this should allow water to get pumped into the sky. Cool. So now he just needs lapis. Um, all right. There is something I have to do because I am out of applied energistics uh, auto crafting. And that is to add another one of these guys. Um, yeah. So I'm going to whip up another one of them and we'll come back and automate some more of this IC2 stuff. All right, so we've got a macerator set up with power. Um, yeah, a lot of trotting up to do. And I've ran this uh, applied logistics cable over here because I think, I think we can do something like this. So if we put this dude here and this dude here, connect them, they should both be connected. And we can grab Lapis. We can say keep 32 in stock. Whoops, I put it in the wrong place. Gee, let's just make it 16. So keep 16 in stock. He's not pulling into this guy. That's okay. Could eject. Could eject. Or oh, sorry, import. Do we have a not injector pulling upgrade? Now might not work too well if it's gonna pull stuff out of the sky. There. Now he'll keep it in stock, lapis. And he should put this crushed lapis. Over into this guy. He's just ejecting it straight back out, isn't he? So we take this ejector upgrade out. Yeah, so he was ejecting it just back into the system, which is not what we want. Yeah, these uh, these are not very good. Uh, okay. Well, I guess we could then instead. Uh, we can't do it that way. My IC2 is so bad. I should be able to do this. So extract, always active, insert. You're going to get... You can't extract that way. Okay, so if we can't do this... If we grab this interface... And he was here. We said... Keep 32 in stock. Should get 32 lapis. 
And if we had the ejector upgrade, Ah, maybe I had the thing wrong. So fluid enrich, tank or cell. So he's got water. Aren't you supposed to make coolant now? Canning, drain from cell into tank, fill the cell from tank, fluid enrich, tank or cell. Okay, he's working. Oh, maybe it needed eight. Right, and we want to fill cell from tank, fluid enrich, tank or cell. Because my plan is to put this crafting card in here. And so if we got some cells, we told this guy to keep cells in stock. Um I don't think we want a pulling upgrade. Maybe we still do. Let's see if this guy can get. So you you don't connect. You extract always active. You insert. Okay, so he can insert to the top. Cool. And he's ejecting uh, his output into this guy. And then once you're connected, which, oh, this is going to look a bit, <laughs> it's going to look a bit gross. When you're connected, you should craft cells. There's a cell. If we put a pulling upgrade in you, cells. We say, fill cell from tank. Boom. Ah, no. No, 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 no. That's filling it with water. Uh, switch tanks. Fluid and rich. Drain from cell into tank. Fill cell from tank. Uh, no, I want these. Canning. Drain from cell into tank. Fill cell from... But he's filling that one. That's the wrong... I really want you to fill these guys. I wonder if you'll do it. Oh, he does. Yep, we're running out of power. Cool. Okay, so then we want another ejector upgrade. crafting CPUs what am I making ah oh, he's constantly making cells okay okay stop stop I need to set up another crafting CPU before we do this well I guess hang on this might work if we take the crafting card out and tell him just to keep cells in stock. He's going to keep cells in stock. Because I think when we craft with, not this guy. When we craft with these. Because what I'm trying to get uh, are these overclocker upgrades. And I wonder, if we make this 10k coolant cell. Which is just going to be, oh, hopefully that takes a... Yes. I'm hoping we get the thing back. Yeah, so we get these tin plates. And we put this in here. Do we get... We get this back. Perfect. And yeah, so then we'll always just have however many cans we've got in stock. Um, creating these coolant cells. Nice. Oh, these machines are so slow. We got our ejector upgrade. Put it in you. Yeah, you shouldn't go back in there. And you're just going to automatically export those fuel cells. And then we can make an overclocker. 
10k colon cells. I need to teach you how to make them. But we want to make you with these. Nice. Cool. And once these really slow machines. Okay, so obviously <laughs> plates are an issue. There we go, we got overclocking upgrades. Decrease process time. So one decreases the process time down to 70%. Yeah, it's a massive power increase. Um, so yeah, we're running low on lava now. <laughs> Just as I finally get this working. So we put an overclocker upgrade. He's going to go faster. He's still way too slow. Put another overclocker upgrade. He's going to go twice as fast. And we can see he's draining power. Now these guys actually have full power, so we're just not transferring enough to keep up with how much this guy wants. Which means we need to go up a voltage tier. But uh, the fact that... <laughs> oh, the fact that our, um, our power is running out already and we're out of like the lava bee stuff. Man, it's not a good sign. Um, let's make you faster because you're pretty bad. You're pretty bad. And I guess we can start just putting upgrades all over the show. It's like a 30% speed increase. Uh, this guy still gets jammed up all the time. Yeah, all right. We need to get into dentistry. Make these industrial apiaries. These aren't bad. Like if we teach these recipes. Probably gonna need some more patterns though. Oh, we're out of status quartz. All right, let's see how far we get. We're probably gonna want a few industrial apiaries, to be fair. Probably gonna want one of these things. We're definitely gonna need to know how to make this. I reckon like eight of these. I'm missing bronze. We need to know how to make bronze and sturdy casings. Okie dokie. We got these industrial apiaries. Nice. So the next thing we're gonna want is these production upgrades. We can install eight of them, right? Get rewards? No. So if we wanted to make production upgrades, that needs the stuff. This should all be not bad. We might have a bit of royal jelly. I should go look actually. And those guys aren't bad at all. So that would mean we'd need 80. Zorks are going to use a lot of power. So if we asked for 80 of these, we don't have enough sugar. Um, I think we just need the sugar recipe, to be fair. Yep, that's going to make them. Let's set up these industrial apiaries. All right, so a bunch of bees. And do we have a chest on us? I think we got an iron chest. You guys just live over there for now. Because we want all of these apiaries. Oh dear. Okay, so we get these industrial apiaries. These are going to live here. These guys will all get power. Nice. Cool. And then we grab those uh, speed upgrades that we've made. Oh, the production upgrades, rather. 
And ooh, do we get a reward? Well, we do. That's probably going to be more, I don't know, experience. Okay. Cool. And then we check in. Nice. Now this is going to drastically increase the amount of power these guys use. Yeah. <laughs> so each one is 20% production, but also 20% energy consumption. So we might actually be using our power now, which would be cool. Um, still going to have to deal with... Ah, and we also need the automation upgrade. And this enables, I think, oh, do we not need it because we've got this? We may not need it. Let's try it with a B. Too cold, too humid. What, you're not working from the sky? Maybe this habitat former doesn't work with these bees. So we'd need these emulation upgrades. Hell emulation upgrades. What is this? Okay. I think we're going to need them. That's unfortunate. These don't look like they're too bad to make, to be fair. Ah, oh, we're waiting on the bronze, though. All right. All right, so we got these hell automation upgrades. I think... This must be what we need to do. So, wait, what? Ah, oh, there we go. Yeah, okay. Still gonna damage us. I need another B. Oof. Cool. Well, these should be ending up making some more combs anyway. But how fast is it really? I mean, it looks a bit faster. Yeah, that looks okay. Well, guys, we've got uh, some better apiaries, which is hopefully going to help our IC2 power struggles, as I've realized that, yeah, the, the nuclear reactor is still a while away. But, hey, it's been Classic Duff. You've been watching the episode. Like and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.